guys, crew at Blonde Wave, I am Eric. I am Calvin. I am Aaron. And we're back with some Ruby. Ruby. Last time on Ruby, we had a scene with Ruby, Weiss, and Yang talking about Blake and yeah. should we trust her and what she's doing. We almost started a food fight. To trust her. Yeah, almost. Yeah. Um, and there were like a little bit of resentment feeling towards her leaving without like telling him what was going on. It's like, well, what if I needed her? Mm. You know, that kind of thing. Yeah. I can't find my page. And then Weiss took care of talking with her and kind of made Yang a little bit more. Like, I just won her back. Yeah. And then uh, we jumped to Blake, and Blake was captured uh, with the webs. Yeah. Webs! Yeah. Webs! And then, um, well, she had a letter from Illa, Ila, that girl, Elia. 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 They had a letter from her, yeah. and it was an ambush. And so, ambush! And then they ambushed them. Ambush! Yeah. But now there's an attack from the Belladonna's. Yeah, and the, the fox dude, Yeah. Fennekin. Yeah. yeah. Fennec. 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 And uh, Fennec. the other one are, yeah. like, Fennec. fighting. Fennec. Yeah. Man. Yeah. yeah, they're going after him. That was uh, Mr. Belladonna. It was. It was Mr. It was. Belladonna. Mr. Belladonna. Do the snowflakes move on their sweaters like that? Like in Harry Potter. Yeah. I was trying to sing to him. I was trying to hear the words so I could lip sync to him. Uh, Other guitar riffs. Reminds me of. Uh, that was a Metallica that has a riff like that, right? Bong, 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 bong. Assassination Army. Bong, 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 bong. I'm gonna run away. Fennec. I only remember his name because of Pokemon <laughs> named Finnegan. Well, Fennec Fox. Yeah. Pokemon named Finnegan. No. Yep. I mean, if there's yeah, there's Finnegan. a little there's literally, there's literally a thing. There's literally a Pokemon called the Fennec Fennec Fox. Fennec, Fennec. Okay. Yep. That's, That's why cool. I remember his also, name. related to foxes. Look at you, Dad! <laughs> you made me jolt and push down harder, you dick! They all get together? No. No. Sensei. <laughs> He's imagining an arm. Raven. That's not how you use a whetstone. It's magic. It's no. a dead whetstone, Calvin. We have a problem. What is it? Salem's found us. Huh? Salem. Okay. Four of her followers are waiting to speak with you. Four. Right. Hmm. They planned for this. No, three. Oh, no, wait, I know Bring the me my helmet. She planned for this. Okay. Oh, uh -huh. Cinder's here. Are there two maidens in the same spot right now? I don't be recall inviting so many guests into our home. Either I'm losing my memory. Or you've all lost your spines. Don't be too upset with them, Raven. Your men simply recognize the power of a maiden when they see it. Which is why we'd like to have a word with you. Got our confidence back. Leave but... us. Pack your things, then break down camp. We're moving. Hmm. Oh, we just set this shit up. A little late to run and hide. You've been on our master's list for some time, master. so you must understand that we cannot allow you to slip away. I know all about your master, but I don't believe we've met. That's Chris Abbott, by the way. The guys, you should be afraid of. He's just trying to play his voice. I doubt anyone should be afraid of you. Oh yeah? Tell that to quiet. That's what I thought. I'm Cinderfall. This is my associate, Arthur Watts. And my disciples, what? Emerald and Mercury. Two children you've tricked into following you. A disgraced Atlesian scientist and a fall maiden with a surname so appropriate she probably picked it herself. Something tells me you've got more than a slight case of egomania. Is that about right? Uh, technically, I was also a doctor, but I must say the rest was spot on. <laughs> <laughs> you perceptive. That's what's kept me alive. 
I'm afraid the only reason you're still alive is because you have something our master wants. I mean... Of course, if I'm wrong... Vernal! Someone shot lightning earlier. Yeah. I think it was her. The spring maiden? So, this is the long lost spring maiden. Yep. Prove it. <clears throat> Told you guys. I didn't say anything. <clears throat> We're gonna unpack real quick. Whatever. Shit. <coughs> Storm. <laughs> Banana. 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 Yeah. It was what? Like X Men. Storm. What was it? <laughs> it was a coincidence. Bernal has done well under my guidance. I'd take that into consideration before you try anything. Raven, I won't underestimate you, so please don't insult my intelligence. There is a slim chance you and your maiden could escape here today. But if you know our master as well as you claim to, then you know you could never truly escape her. But we come bearing an olive branch. The maidens are merely a means to an end. Salem's true desires are the relics locked within the Huntsman Academies. Come with us. Allow Vernal here to unlock the relic of knowledge, and all previous acts of defiance against Salem will be forgiven. Hmm. It's the best deal either of you are going to get. But when I put it the crop. You talk as if walking straight into Haven will be easy. That's because it will be. Headmaster Lionheart is loyal to Salem now. <coughs> all we need is the key to the vault. You're not the only one to turn your back on Oz, Raven. I'm not helping Salem. I'm not helping Oz. I don't want a part in any of this. That ship sailed when you chose to harbor a maiden. But if you come with us to Haven, we'll leave you, your tribe, and your little secret to live out the rest of your days squabbling in the wilderness. We just need the relic. I need time to think this over. You don't have time. In two days, Haven Academy will be destroyed by the White Fang. Uh. You're going to choose now. Backed me into a corner, huh? So, are you going to create us? a portal? Or against us? I don't know. Agreements like these are built on trust. And forgive me for saying, but I don't trust a single one of you. You're going to need to give me more. You are in a poor position to negotiate. I want my brother dead. Oh, what? man. Crow? That's right. He knows I have spring. <clears throat> and if I help you get your relic, he's going to become a problem. I have enough problems to deal with. Crow doesn't trust me. But he does trust Ospin's other lieutenants. If Leo really is loyal to you, then you can order him to invite Crow right into an ambush. He arrives at Haven, we take him down, you get your relic, and we all leave happy. Hmm. <coughs> now this is a proposition I can get behind. All right, ladies, let's pause for a moment. We have one objective, retrieving the relic of knowledge. Now, Crow Bronwyn may be on our list of individuals we would very much like dead, but he's not going to go down without a fight, and he's not going to fight quietly. Mm -hmm. Our advantage here is just as you said. We walk straight into Haven. No resistance, no one the wiser. A battle with your brother throws that all out the window. <clears throat> this is bad good. luck. Semblance. that good. All of us against him? It'll be over in a heartbeat. But it's not just him. He has the students with him. He has Ruby. He certainly does. If we leave that school a bloody mess, it will draw the attention of the authorities. 
The kingdom will be on high alert, and the White Fang's attack will be ruined. Then we wait. We wait until the full moon. Leo invites Crow and his little fighters to Haven the same night Hazel and Adam arrive with the White Fang. Mm. As soon as the battle is won, the White Fang demolishes Haven, and any evidence we may have left behind is lost along with the school. Then Salem leaves my people alone. For good. Yeah, right. That's not gonna happen. You're loose end. The deal. So she's all pissed off Wait. at Osborne. But does this. Don't think I don't see what you're after. If this falls to pieces over your grudge with a child, I will not be taking the blame. Then what are you worried about? Ah. Fly back home and tinker with your machines. Fly back home. And tell Salem she'll get what she wants. And more. You think Raven's being truthful here? No. It seems contradictory. I think she's buying time. <clears throat> so we can come up with a plan. The attack. Oh. Ah! That's what I do! I when you guys are gone! Yes. I seen it on the security cameras. It's like Craven. The hunter? Yeah. The quiet sabers! He's like Hugh Jackman all the time. Oh! oh. oh. Dang it. I thought it was his head. Ooh, his aura. Okay. <clears throat> Wind. Oh no. Gun. Chief. Oh, yeah, son. son. Gun. Gun, son. <laughs> oh, nice. It's kind of cool. <coughs> oh, man. Yeah, son. Hurry. Surprise. Mother trucker. Oh, sweet. That was cool. Dad, where's Mom? I'm not sure. I got ambushed right away. Once we take down Corsic and Finnick. No, go now. But... You keep assuring me your friend isn't a complete waste of space. Let's see him prove it. Yeah. We got this plate. Win his approval. I wanted to sock these creeps since the day we met. Here we go. I'm still there. You'll have to get in line. Boy, go. Go save Mommy. <clears throat> I won't let you down, sir. Shut up. <laughs> you got it. Mm. Ah! Am I gonna see the fight? Dang it. Dang it. Dad gonna die? No. Dad's gonna die. Mom might die. Yes, for now. I followed them as you asked. Okay. Did they spot you? <laughs> of course not. They have a ship two clicks west of here. <clears throat> Looks like they're staying there for the night. Thank you, Vernal. Anything else? Do you actually believe they'll let us go once they have the relic? Of course not. They'll never leave us alone. Once our purpose has come and gone, we'll be discarded. Salem only uses people until they are no longer useful. If we want to have any chance of defending ourselves against her, then we need this relic. Oh. Okay. If Crow and those brats want to follow Osborne, then let them. When the chaos reaches its peak, we'll grab the relic and make our escape. And the fact Betrayed. that your daughter will be a part of all that? <clears throat> doesn't matter. I warned her. She made her choice. This path won't be easy for us either, but we must do what's right for the tribe. I know. I'll do whatever it takes. Good. Whatever it takes. No one needs to. Okay. I didn't think that should go with it that easy. Oh, that's a bird one. I don't know. I already had it proved. That was weird. Like a bird. Oh, there's a bird. There too. Is there any reason? Same bird. <clears throat> Migration. Hey, Crow. Oz needs to talk to you. Hmm. Come back. Save your mom. 
Is her mom a fighter? Yeah. She's gonna be fighting her. Me too. I wanted to see all the fights. By full length, going to YouTube. There's no full length. Oh, fucking moron. Is it Vernal or Bernal? I thought it was Vernal or Renal. It's okay. Renal. Renal? Renal. Renal. Yeah. Okay. Are you sure? Yeah. You're very confident. I heard Renal every time she said it. It's okay. not like I heard something else. Is there any chance that you might be wrong? Like <clears throat> less than one percent. Less than one. Okay. See, yeah, I heard. I'm, I'm I heard, heard Renal, and I also heard, thought I heard Vernal. So I'm in the middle of both of you. Okay. I I heard Renal every like a, time. Like the but. icing of an Oreo. What? I like Oreos. I like you. Send her. Is that the first time we've seen her with that like fire, fire eye? eye thing? Well, no, the mask that she's wearing on the other side. Oh no, we've seen her I with just, it before. She's had the mask on. Well, I she's had notice. the she's had the burn and stuff. Before. Yeah, I've seen the now burn. She's, now she well, yeah. you we saw her wear. No, she's wearing like a fan of the opera mask now. Yeah, Aww. we saw it. We saw her wear it uh, as she was leaving Salem's hmm. place. Okay, I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, the fire thing is just her semblance, right? She had fire before, I mean, right? Yeah, fi yeah. She, like, she fire seemed before. like she was like trying, to, like, you know, I'm the maiden. Is no, it but she amplified? Because I'm of I'm sure, say yeah. she could amplify it with the magic, right? Yeah. Cinder and fall powers. She has fiery cinder powers, and she has folly fall powers. Mm -hmm. And the spring power is making tornadoes. Uh, weather. Crazy weather. You can't control the fall weather? Oh. <laughs> well, I'm not even doing anything. I'm just straightening my feet. You can probably feet. do a whole lot of your shit. What can fall do? Just make things that die? I mean, if, if you were a person, that would hurt. Yep. It's not that kind of fall, Calvin. Yeah. Autumn. So, Watts. I remember last time I was like, is it Winchester or something? It's so stupid. It's Watts. Yeah. Winchester. Well, it was a W. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I got, it's, Winchester. Uh, I was way off. I know. That's what I was thinking. Arthur yeah. Watts. Yeah. Which is a, a cool name. Yeah, and he was a doctor. I wonder if it's supposed to be kind of like, because he got that Western kind of thing going yeah. for him, like Doc Holliday. Well, he, he's got like a medicine bag, right? Yeah. One, of the, one of the things that yeah. like, like this. And that's I love those bags. Yeah. That's Chris, Chris Abbott. Chris Abbott, so Mr. All Might and Vegeta and uh, Armstrong. I know it's yeah. him. Yeah, I can just hear it. Same way I can recognize he Deep can. Bloom now yeah. and a whole bunch of other different people now. But Crow. Crow is uh, Edward... Uh, Elric, yeah. right? Yeah. I don't really recognize him as much. It's I feel like different. He, it's like, a much different yeah. tone that he's he uses. definitely disguising his voice. It's like Chris Abbott, I feel like while he has very distinct characters, I can always just kind of hear it in there. You well, know? it's it's that very specific resonance that he yeah. has, the timber behind his actual tone. Timber, yeah. no cinder. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, Chris Abbott has timber and she has fall. Yeah. So, yeah. So it's not that uh, Salem's not really interested in the maidens; they're interested only in the in the relics, yes. right? Is what she says. Well, least. they're using the maidens, they the maidens as as the key. They yeah. have to unlock the relics. The relics being hidden in all the academies, so they have. Do they, they had the one from the first one, then, right? The relic of knowledge. Uh, the relic of knowledge. That's is, when the spring has unlocked. Yeah, that's when they have. Is right. in. I wrote down these relics one time because they had a big conversation about yeah. them, like yeah. the last volume or something like that. And we lost our notes. And I don't yeah. have those notes anymore. Yeah, because yeah. we had a whole list of, like autumn, spring. There was like knowledge, and there was like death or destruction. Mm -hmm. Was like another one. There was, was life, it in a right? World of Remnant, maybe. Uh huh. Was it it was in a world of remnant. It that they set them all, but maybe. then Ospin had said it as well at some point. Mm. Tell you what, still don't know what those are. Don't know what they do. Don't want, don't know why they're important. They're just a thing to get. So it's a MacGuffin right now. MacGuffin. Oh, blah, blah, blah. muffin. Why does Crow? I mean Crow, not Crow. Uh, Raven. She seems to be like stalling for time. Hey, we'll do her own thing. But does she also want Crow dead? Probably. Why? I don't, know. I don't know. I thought she was pissed. Because she might because of the resentment and stuff like they that. They both can fly, but I don't know for sure that she just wants him dead. Like I feel like, I mean, she has no problem with her daughter dying. Apparently, maybe well, because maybe she has more faith in them to actually succeed. Because they're they're wanting to ruin their plans anyway, so they're not even expecting yeah. to like help with the destruction of. The only, 
The only thing I could think of is that maybe she wanted them to go and attack a person that she knows she can get to immediately. If you're going to send somebody off on some, I don't know. I don't know why I made maybe. that deal, though. Maybe, like, they try to ambush huh? him, and I then mean, they all, like, <laughs> teleport in. Someone who's a tough person to fight. She's a sister, so she probably knows his semblance, which yeah. makes it tougher to be able to battle him. Yeah. And then... You figure really, more people that fight him, the she, less... Or the more the semblance will... Yeah. I mean, I yeah. The, uh, the fact that Yang also went there with Weiss, she knows that he has more backup as well there. Yeah. So maybe someone that, like, even, even if they could kill him, it's not going to be easy. Yeah. As she made it to sound. Hmm. So it makes it easier to be like, well, here's this battle, bunch of chaos. Yeah. Slip away, grab the shit, get out. You ain't got nothing. Uh-huh. We got it all and we're hidden. Uh, speaking of Crow, Osmond wants to talk to him. Didn't mm-hmm. see that. Nothing. Nope. It's probably going to be something important. Maybe yep. Osmond knows a probably little bit not. about. Probably nothing. No? Or there was that bird. Maybe it was the bird. Mm-hmm. That flew from the first scene to the second scene. Yeah. Because they just showed two birds. That's a, I don't know. I feel maybe like. she landed and said, hey, I want to talk to Crow. I, f- I feel tweet, like tweet. that might have been something that happened. Like, she was warning Ospin and Crow, like, hey, this is how it's going to go down, but she didn't tell him the whole story. And that's why Ospin's like, hey, you need to come talk to me, yeah. but we're not going to hear it. I don't know. Is it going to be, like, plans that work because we don't know what they are? I'm, I'm curious. Or is it going to be in the next episode? Mm-hmm. I don't know why they had two birds show up mm-hmm. like that, except to be like, oh, she turned to a bird? Oh, there's a bird there? Did she go there? But I, I just feel like she hates Ospin so much that she wouldn't go and be like, hey, watch out. I don't get her. Or she's, get her or she's setting them up to fail with false information. That's true. That would be my only thought. Yeah. Like I just she don't still get wants to doing. get the relic away from Cinder and away from Salem. Yeah. So I, f- I feel like if she were to do that, even against her, her, you know, mm-hmm. ego, that it would be to feed them misinformation so that it'd be easier for them to slip away the relic later. The Ghostbuster. Do we have any uh, backstory on the, the Spring Maiden? Right now? She's uh, just with Ray. Like, she keeps saying, like, I have the Spring Maiden. But... Well, she found her and, yeah. like, helped her. Is it her just protection? Like that, right? I think it's just whatever we learned from whenever Weiss was there and stuff like yeah. that, which yeah. I don't think was a whole lot overall. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> I don't remember a whole lot being there. Like, not substantive. Sure. Well, there's going to be a uh, attack in two days on the school. So I'm guessing that's going to be our end of our fin- <laughs> volume here. So, or it ends just before that. Or, or not. No! Or way after. I, I'm not sure. But we got like a, we have a couple more episodes here left, more than a couple. But we're going to get to them as soon as we can. So make sure you guys are keeping an eye out for more Ruby. Okay? Is that good? Thank you guys for watching this episode of Ruby. If you want to make sure that eye stays glued to blindly, the best thing to do is make sure you subscribe. You have the bell thing turned on. Watch things on Patreon. You go to our website, maybe our Twitter or Facebook or Instagram or Snapchat or other Turn on the beast thing too. Yeah. And you can just send a letter. <laughs>